Hey, Easy Jeezy here. We're uh, still at uh, Chill Plant 1. We're going to put this puppy back together. We had cut the bearing off yesterday, and uh, my bearing didn't come in on time, so this morning when I got to work, they called me up and said, Hey, the bearing came in just after you went home. So we're going to go ahead and put that bearing on. We uh, cleaned up our end bell here. Nice to have a big solvent tank at work, and got that all ready to go but we're not going to put this on quite yet because the bearing is cooking I don't know if you guys had anything to eat yet but uh, we've got uh, a little easy bake oven here we're at a little over 300 degrees this is just something that was uh, uh, we've had around here for a long time I don't know where it came from but it's just a little oven and uh, I just set my bearing inside there and just warming it up it's a sealed bearing and there's numbers on the side that tell you the the model or the the serial number of not the serial number the model number of the bearing and we want to face that out so when you take the housing off it's right there in front of you now I'm gonna set you down I'm gonna put these gloves on and hopefully this will just slide right on real nice and you'll see how easy it is to put bearings back on the easy easy way everybody does it this way this is nothing special but I know there might be somebody out there who's never seen this before and there's lots of different ways of heating the bearing they have induction heaters they have bearing cones and uh, so I can see my numbers on this side I hold it up and okay that's it it's done you slide it on and it hits home now you don't want to beat on a bearing because uh, you'll it'll, it'll shorten the life of it you'll put little nicks and stuff on it so that's all you do to put the bearing on I'm not gonna put the end bell on right now I have to wait for it to cool off now I want it to it'll grip on the shaft you don't want to put any lubricant or anything on the shaft it should be dry the, the bearing probably has something sprayed on it from the factory but what you saw is what we do with the with the numbers facing out and now I have to let it cool on the outside I could heat my end bell but that's a pretty big piece of uh, steel and I don't want to have to handle something that hot so I'm just gonna let everything cool off and then I can slide my end bell over it put my coupling back together and test her out and check that uh, for vibration alignment I want to check out that uh, fluke vibration meter that somebody commented on my uh, last video uh, that sounds pretty slick I don't know how much one of those cost but uh, it would sure help with uh, probably the life of the motor he said that he would had it paid for itself and nothing flat I'm sure it's not cheap but uh, anyhow that's the story. And, uh, hope you're all having a good day. Get something done on your projects. Easy Jeezy out. But wait! There's more! You didn't think I was going to let you off that easy, did you? Okay, we got our, got our bearing on there. It's cooled off. And we're just going to see if we can find the hole centers itself that's pretty nice a lot of times a lot of times these bolts will go all the way through and uh, the tension on some of this stuff will even affect the amperage put uh, 
truss on the bearing and that's more on fractional stuff. I imagine on something this big it would just tear itself to pieces. It's just like anything else that's precision made. If it's not right, it, uh, it just won't last. And uh, a lot of times if something's been in service for a long time, uh, you really need to mark everything and make sure you you get it back where it was because everything's got a happy spot where it uh, and you change it now you've got a clearance or a tolerance where you didn't have one before and, uh, okay and just like building an engine uh, this is tight because it's probably not in its it's not home. There's a there's a seam here. I can feel it. I can feel it lifting up right now. That see it? It made a little made a little pop, and all of a sudden there it goes. That's what I'm. You don't force things. You always feel your way along like a blind man, and uh, machinery is always talking to you, and you have to listen. And when there's other people around and the cell phone's going off and your mind is someplace else you might not hear what it's saying but you'll damn sure hear it if it doesn't work if this is a seven thousand dollar motor you know what else cost seven thousand dollars that just made me sick if you want to buy a replacement factory Harley Davidson engine the two cylinders seven thousand bucks or more that's just for a stock one and that doesn't include the transmission seven thousand bucks for a factory new replacement engine for a Harley Davidson I sold mine not that uh, there was anything the matter with it I just uh, I just said you know my reflexes aren't what they used to be and uh, I make too many mistakes and there's too many people when I go home I get here at dark 30 in the morning so it's fine but when I'm going home it's traffic and people are doing too many things besides driving texting and got their stereos boom boom boxes and whatnot man that that feels so nice and I'm gonna take the zerk off and put a plug in here and I'm gonna run this thing uh, just with the factory sealed bearing. It's sealed with grease and that's uh, that should be good enough. Man, that feels great. Alright, so now we'll move on to something else after we clean up our mess. There were ends around here. Thanks for watching. Easy Jeezy out.